Today we're going to be looking at several things when it comes to the concept of leadership versus management. My name is Jack Robinson. I'm a senior consultant with KMP. And let's begin today by taking a look at an overview of some key tenets or some underlying truths, if you will, about managing and leading in this country. We call them words of wisdom for emerging leaders. First thing I want you to think about is this phrase. We believe that most organizations in this country today are overmanaged and underled. And let's take a look at why we say that. Uh, we're going to look at some of the concepts, qualities, and attributes of leaders when you're in a leadership role versus when you're in a management role. So let's start by taking a look at managers. First of all, managers do things right. Leaders do the right things. And there's a huge difference there. Think about yourselves working every day with your employees. Second point, managers focus on things, events, tasks, very task oriented. Leaders focus on people and developing those people. The next point, managers organize, control, and direct people and tasks. Leaders inspire, motivate, and clarify. The next point, managers really spend a lot of time and are good at solving problems, problems that are brought to them by subordinates. Leaders offer resources to allow their folks to start solving their own problems. The last point, managers make assignments and give them out and manage them as task management. Leaders establish principles and boundaries which they communicate and allow their folks to task manage and go through them themselves as they learn and grow. At KMP, what we do is we take an in-depth look at the skills and the tools and the knowledge you need to be sure that you're leading as well as managing. As a matter of fact, it gets a little, more, uh, a little more complex for us today in this environment. There are actually five roles that you need to be aware of and be able to morph or slide in and out of as a leader. The first one is, oddly enough, you might not be surprised, you have to be a manager every day. What that means is you do have to be task oriented. You do have to schedule things. You do have to meet with people. You do have to give direction. That's one of the things that you do every day. Also, you have to be a technician. Second role is technician, which means you have subject matter expertise as an engineer, as a selling professional, as an IT individual, as a carpenter, as a builder, in which you solve problems for your folks. You show them how to do it. Now we start to differ a little bit. The third role that leaders are aware of and take on more today, a trailblazer, which they create a vision and they ask for a commitment from their folks to go with them to meet that vision. Next, the fourth one, architect. Think of yourself as an architect. They provide processes and boundaries as they build that vision, if you will, from the trailblazing element. Lastly, uh, probably the area that you can start using right away and have tremendous impact with your folks is the leader in the role of a coach. That's where you help develop others for growth, technical areas, attitudes, feelings, emotions, as they perform their tasks. So that's what we take a look at in leadership today. The difference between managing and leading, we have to do both. Underneath that, we have to think about there are five roles identified in which we as a leader and a manager have to slide in and out of those roles situationally depending on what's in front of us. For the future, that's where we need to go, that's where you need to go, and we'll be willing to work with you and take you there. Thank you.